Ubuntu just made its boldest, most controversial move in decades. They are killing off its legendary terminal, a tool we have used for ages. The terminal has been the centerpiece of the Ubuntu experience for each and every one of us. The upcoming Ubuntu 25.10 is replacing its terminal with a brand new superpower terminal named Texas. It's so powerful, so feature that some are calling it the future. But there are some people who are calling it a sad mistake. I've been playing with Tixis for some time now and it definitely has some fantastic features like its insane first class container support, powerful profiles, buttery smooth GPU acceleration and the ability to save your entire sessions so you never lose your work. Seriously, there are things here like its theming that will blow your mind. So let's jump right in and see why Ubuntu made this big move and what this brand new terminal means for you. Alright, let's start off by seeing what exactly Tixis is. Texas is a sleek and modern terminal emulator created by Christian Hergert, a prolific GNOME developer who has contributed to many projects and is the main man behind GNOME Builder. This is not just another terminal in the ocean of terminals that we already have. Oh no, this is a reimagination of what a terminal can be in 2025. This is actually quite powerful. So much so that not one but two big distros have made this the default terminal. The other distro being Fedora. Yeah, this is a big deal. Originally, Texas was named Prompt, but because of some trademark issues, it was rebranded as Texas. Yeah, we went from Prompt to Texas. As far as the name of the application goes, that's surely a downgrade. The P is silent here though, we just call it Texas. Now here's where things start to get interesting. Texas doesn't just support containers, it embraces them like they're its favorite child. Out of the box, you got native support for Podman, Toolbox, Distrobox and even GHBuild. No more manually setting up profiles, crafting long commands, or struggling with environment variables just to get a container shell working. So how does this actually work? It's brilliantly simple. When you fire up Texas, it automatically scans your system for known container setups. It looks for your Podman containers, your Distrobox instances, your Toolbox environments, and then imports them right into the new tab menu. You can directly jump in. Yeah, here when you open a terminal, you pick your containerized environment from a neat little list and boom, you're inside it. It's clear that this terminal was built with the modern Linux developer in mind. If you live in containers, work across different development environments, or just want clean isolation between projects, this feature alone might make Texas your new best friend. I mean, I play around with Distrobox using this terminal and the convenience factor here is really big. Alright, let's talk about getting your terminal set up just the way you like it. Because with a primarily text-based application, customization becomes very important. Texas leans into this hard, and with its powerful profiles feature, it really makes our lives easy. This isn't just about changing your font or background color, although you can do that and use different profiles as well. But it's not just that. Oh no. With Texas, you can make a special profile for every little thing you do. Just think about it. You could have a web dev profile that opens up right inside your project's distrobox container. Or how about a system admin profile with a bright red theme, just to remind you to be careful. And maybe it even runs edge top for you automatically when you open it. Yes sir, you can set up custom commands which folder to start in and which container to use for each one of these profiles. Seriously, this is particularly mind blowing. When you launch a terminal with Texas in a particular profile, you can set it up so that it runs particular commands automatically and you're ready and primed for work. The possibilities with this are limitless. Seriously, this is really cool. You got a million tabs open. You're deep in a project, jumping between a component in your front-end code, separate tabs for your APS server logs, and a third one for system configs, and finally get everything situated just right. And then you have to restart the system. That feeling of having to manually CD into every directory again, reopening all those tabs one by one, let's just say not the best feeling in the world. Well, Tixis has the perfect fix, pin tabs. Just right click on the tab and pin it. And when you restart the terminal, your entire workspace layout comes right back. It restores every tab into the right directory and with the correct profile, saving you from that tedious setup process. All right, let's talk about tab overload because this is a real problem. You got a dozen tabs open and you're clicking through them one by one trying to find where exactly you are compiling something. And well, Texas has a slick tab overview feature, it's just like GNOME's activities overview but just for your terminal. You get a clean searchable grid of all your open tabs so you just see everything at a glance and jump right to the one you need. 
it's a small thing that makes a huge difference when you're deep in a project. By the way, if you haven't already, check out my course Linux Mastery Express. I've designed this course to level up your Linux skills very quickly. With this course, you'll get so comfortable using the terminal commands that your friends will think you're a Linux wizard. You'll get perfect with the most used, most useful commands and also learn advanced things like using the vEditor and shell scripting as well. Linux Mastery Express, link in the description, do check it out. Okay, this one's a biggie and it's something GNOME terminal users have been asking for years. Texas comes with full-blown GPU acceleration. Yup, the terminal is no longer stuck in the CPU bound stone age. But wait a minute, why does the terminal even need GPU acceleration? It's just text, right? So something like the terminal doesn't necessarily need huge graphics rendering prowess. But if you already have a GPU in your computer, the terminal can definitely run smoother and just give you an overall better experience by using that GPU acceleration. So Texas having GPU acceleration is a good thing because scrolling is silky smooth here, animations are crisp and font rendering is very good too. Especially large and long bodies of text dumped into the terminal, you notice that polish. Thanks to its GTK4 backbone and libadweta magic, Texas feels very modern compared to the old terminal application. The difference is quite apparent, especially side by side. Seriously, once you experience the fluidity here, there's no going back. Here's another one of those little quality of life things that just makes sense. Texas lets you just hold down the control key and your mouse wheel to zoom in and out, just like in your web browser. Thank you. I mean it. It's fast, it's intuitive and it just saves you a click. A small touch but you'll use it all the time. Alright, let's talk about making your terminal look exactly how you want it. Because Texas goes all out here. Forget basic color schemes, we are talking a full-blown theming engine. It comes packed with a bunch of gorgeous color palettes that even switch automatically between light and dark modes with your system. It paints your chosen colors over the entire window, title bar and all, and this gives it a super integrated look, it's cool. But there is one thing you should keep in mind, right now you cannot point and click to select custom colors, for that you will have to use your own dot palette files. Once Tixis takes off, I think people will be sharing these files and we may even get the custom color picker later on. And of course, you can remap all your keyboard shortcuts to match your muscle memory. Your terminal, your rules, baby. Now this one's for the power users, the people who live in the terminal and want to know what's going on under the hood. Texas comes with a built-in terminal inspector. That's right, you can peek into what's running inside your terminal. This is extra vision for developers. Especially for people developing CLI and TUI applications, the terminal inspector here is going to be a godsend. Although it looks like the terminal inspector is still in its infancy, I think many more debugging and inspection tools can be added here. You know, I have a bad habit of pressing Ctrl plus C multiple times when I'm copying a piece of text. You know, because I'm not totally sure it worked. On Texas, when you copy a text, a slick little toast notification pops up to confirm it for you. It's a very small touch, but it made me happy as soon as I saw it. This one's subtle, but I think it's quite useful. When you have any terminal that's running with super user privileges, the top title bar changes colors to let you know about the escalated privileges. These super user sessions generally tend to be important and it's very important that you pay attention with these terminals. This change in color is very effective at grabbing your attention. Many other terminal applications also do this. This one's more behind the scenes but incredibly powerful if you're working with heavy processes. Each tab in Texas can run inside its own resource isolated C group. That means you can run sandbox processes, monitor their CPU and memory usage, and avoid one tab from hogging everything. It's like giving every terminal tab its own little containerized world. As you can see, one terminal tab crashing or being externally closed for any reason does not crash the entire Texas window. Subtle but very pro-grade. I think Google Chrome does something similar too, so that one website hanging or freezing should not crash the entire browser. Cool tech. Texas brings improved support for screen readers and high contrast modes. That means more users can navigate and work inside this terminal with ease. Yes, users with visual impairments will find Texas helpful and effective. Let's be honest, the old terminal has been around for ages and while there was nothing wrong with it, it was old and it should also be noted that the tech under the hood was kinda getting old as well. It was definitely time for a shakeup. Container-based workflows are getting big right now, with tools like Toolbox, Distrobox and Podman everywhere. It makes total sense for Ubuntu to try out something fresher, more modern and way more developer friendly. Definitely. 
All right, let's talk about how my personal experience was with Texas. I've been thinking about getting into containers, specifically DistroBox, as it's gaining a lot of traction and it really addresses some huge pain points of us Linux users. So the container integration that Texas has made me absolutely love it. And the way it looks, the theming, this is very modern and definitely something that's made for 2025 and beyond. The only issue I have with this terminal is its name, Texas, Tix, Texas, just kidding, I love it. Now Texas is not absolutely perfect, not yet. This is a brand new software we are talking about, so of course, there are going to be a few little bugs in these early days. You might notice some minor glitches, but that's totally okay, as the developer is super active, so things are getting polished up fast. Overall, I'm genuinely impressed. I am going to miss the old terminal though, because that's like my home. You know, I even dislike the console on Fedora. It's such a small thing, but my mind has that preference. I know I'm sounding like a fanboy, but I really liked Ubuntu's old terminal. But I live. There you have it. Texas, the new terminal. Texas can be installed as a flat pack on all the Linux distributions, and this will be the default terminal on Ubuntu 25.10. The install instructions are given in the description below. Alright, if you found this video useful, if you enjoyed it, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in learning up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero in the shortest time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out the top 10 hottest Linux terminal apps that you should be using in 2025. It's got some really cool ones, so definitely don't miss that. Alright, this is Linux Techs, signing out.